Hello, I'm here to give you a very brief overview about some exciting technology that my team has been building to combine the strength of Vectorcast for unit testing with the power of large language models for reasoning about requirements expressed in natural language. For the purpose of what we're going to look at, we're going to focus on the manager example that comes with Vectorcast, in particular, the add included dessert function. So the add included dessert function lists a set of conditions which when they're met means you get a free dessert with your order. So for example, if we order a steak with a Caesar salad and a mixed drink, we get a free pie. Now, when we're building safety critical systems, we don't normally do testing based on the code. We do it based on a requirement specification. And this then leads to what's classed as requirements driven testing. So what we have here is we have the requirement specification for this same bit of code. And we can see it lists the conditions that when we have a steak with a Caesar salad and a mixed drink, we get a free pie. So what we want to be able to do is combine the information that Vectorcast has about how to test this code with these requirements to then generate executable test cases. So we can then just select uh, generate test from requirements inside of VS Code. And what this will do is it will take all of the parse information that Vectorcast has about how to test this uh, code and how to build an executable test driver along with the uh, requirement specification written in natural language. It will package that all up and it will send it off to a large language model. Then the large language model will work out how to generate test cases for this capability. Now, what's really important is we might not get one test case per requirement. Now, the reason for this is, is that requirements might not be what's classed as atomic. So if we look at this add include dessert requirement, we can see it has the combination about steak, Caesar salad and a mixed drink. We also have one for lobster, green salad and wine qualifies for a free cake. So we would expect the large language model to do what's classed as requirements decomposition to generate us multiple test cases for that behavior. So uh, the large language model is now finished and we can see that we've got our test cases inside of the Vectorcast extension. So we can now run our test case for uh, our steak, Caesar salad and mixed drink. And when the vector cut, when the report loads, we can see that we've specified the steak, Caesar salad and mixed drink, and we've received our free pie. We can look at the, uh, the test in the vector cast test syntax, and we can see that, yep, it specified our steak, our Caesar salad and our mixed drink, and we've got a pie. And as I mentioned, it's also done what's classed as requirements decomposition. And so we have a, a test case for the lobster, green salad, and the wine case. And in that case, we then have the expected data uh, for it being a cake. Now, that's how the extension works. I want to just highlight one other particular bit of functionality. So we don't are not requiring you to use any particular large language model. We support interfacing to multiple large language model providers. For example, maybe Claude from Anthropic or Gemini from Google, or just OpenAI running on Azure. We also have the capability to speak to a model which is running under Olama or VLLM locally, which then means you're not needing to send your code and requirements to any external cloud provider. So this is a really brief overview of what we've built and how it works. We're really excited to share it with you and we'd love to engage with you if this might be something that you think would help you build your systems more efficiently and more effectively.